hello guys welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that for the cables of problem 248 it is shown that the maximum allowable tension is 600 newton in cable ac and 750 newton in cable bc determine the maximum force p that can be applied at c and the corresponding value of the angle alpha so now if I draw the free body diagrams, this point C is in equilibrium under the action of these three forces. So at point C, we will have the tension in row BC. So the tension in row BC magnitude is given, which is 750 Newton. And if we draw a horizontal line here, so this uh, rope is making 25 degree angle here so it will be making 25 degree angle here as well since both of these angles are alternate angles so we will show that angles here so this angle is 25 degrees with the horizontal similarly at point c we have uh, that tension in rope ac like this and again if we draw a horizontal line here so this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles so this is also 45 degree angle so we can show that this is 45 degree angle and similarly that force p is making some angle alpha with the horizontal so this is that force p and is making some angle alpha both the magnitude of p and alpha is required we, we need to find and this point is point c now as we know that this point c is in equilibrium under the action of these three forces so the sum of all these three forces must be equals to zero by head to tail rule so the the we have three forces so these three forces must make a closed triangle by head to tail rule in order to have the resultant equals to zero so we need to arrange these three forces in such a way so that they make a closed triangle so i will draw tbc so this is tbc the tension in row BC magnitude is given 750 Newton then we will draw that uh, TAC let's say this is the TAC so this is TAC and its magnitude is given this is 600 Newton and TAC is making 45 degree and this tbc is making 25 degree here and it is making 25 degree angle here so we can say that this is 25 degree as well so i will write that this is 25 degree and similarly that force p must be acting from the head of tac to the tail of tbc so this is that force p the red one and its magnitude is required now this p force is making angle alpha so we can draw that angle alpha here as well so we need to show that angle alpha so this is that angle alpha which is required this is that angle alpha and similarly this tac is making 45 degree angle with the horizontal so we can say that this angle is 45 degree angle so um, this angle is 45 degree now let's say that this angle is theta now by using law of uh, sines uh, law of cosines we can find the p value so p square by law of cosines p square is equal to tac square plus tbc square minus 2 into tac into tbc cos of the included angle or we can say that the cos of the angle opposite to the force p we can only apply the law of cosines when we know the magnitude of this side and this side and the angle between both of these so that will be a cause of 45 plus 20, 25 so that is uh, 45 plus 25 is 70 degrees so we will say cause of 70 degrees and taking the square root we will give that will give us force p magnitude so we know TAC value which is 600, 600 square plus TBC is 750 square minus 2 into 600 into 750 
cos of 70 this gives us p value equals to 784 newtons so this is that maximum force p that can be applied at point c in order to have the tbc uh, equals to 750 newton and tac equals to 600 newton similarly we are required to find angle alpha so now we know that this angle alpha plus theta plus this 45 this must be equal to 180 degrees since this is 180 degrees so we can say that alpha plus theta plus 45 degrees this is equal to 180 degrees we are interested to find angle alpha so angle alpha is 180 minus 45 minus theta so in this equation we need to have this angle theta so we need to find this angle theta so to find that angle theta we can always apply the law of sines so we can say that sine of theta divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is tbc so sine of theta divided by 750 is equal to sine of this angle which is 70 divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is p which is 784 so now from this we can say that sine of theta is 750 sine of 70 degrees divided by 784 and to find theta we need to take the sine inverse of this so we can say that uh, sine inverse of 750 sine of 70 divided by 784 which gives us the angle equals to 64 degrees so theta is equal to 64 degrees now putting this theta value in this equation will give us angle alpha which is required so 180 minus 45 minus 64 degrees 180 minus 45 minus 64 gives us alpha angle equals to 71 degrees now the the maximum value of force p that we can apply at point c is 784 newton and in order to satisfy the equilibrium condition this alpha must be 71 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if this helps in your learning